Hey there, Louis Acabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can filter a list in ServiceNow, and I'm also going to show you how you can save filters that you built. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and look at how you can filter a list in ServiceNow. And specifically, we are going to search for the incident list here. Now I can just type incident in the filter navigator and I can scroll down to the incident group and I can click on all. That's going to bring me into this list of all incidents. Now I'll just go ahead and collapse the filter navigator so we can expand the size of the list. Now there are a few different ways in which you can filter a list. The first and the most effective way, in my opinion, to filter a list is to go ahead and click on the show hide filter button. And what that is going to do is that's going to display a filter builder here. Now you can see that I have the option to go ahead and choose fields that I want to filter by. So to start, what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and filter this list to display only those incidents that have a priority of critical. Now to do that, I'm gonna click into this choose field field here, and I'm going to search for the field that I want to filter by, and that is priority. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it. And then I can go ahead and build out my specific filter. Now the next field here is the operator field. So you can see when I click into this, I have a bunch of different options. I could either select where priority is a value or is not a value or is one of, et cetera. So you can select the operator that is most conducive to the specific filter that you wanna build. In my case, I'm just going to set it to is. And then the last step here is to go ahead and choose your option. Now, when I click on this dropdown, this is going to show me a list of all of the available values in that field that we selected here. So in this case, these are all of the different priority values that a user can select. Now I'll go ahead and select critical. And if I want to run this list with this filter applied, I can scroll up here and click run. And you're going to notice here that right now, the only incidents that are being displayed are those where the priority is set to critical. Now, what I want to call out here is that when you apply filters on your list, an easy way to see which filters have been applied is to view this breadcrumb trail here. Now, this is going to show you that your starting list was all incidents. And then you can see the little arrow here and Immediately after, it's going to tell you the next condition that was applied, that is priority equals one, which is critical. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the show hide filter button again, and you can see here the filter that we applied. And if I wanna to continue to build out additional filter conditions here, what I can do is I can either select end, if I want to say, show me incidents where the priority is critical, and another criteria, or I can use the or option. So if I wanted to, for example, see all of the incidents where the priority is critical and high, I can go ahead and select that. And when you're using the or operator, you're going to notice that it automatically selected that filter field and also applied the same operator. Now I'll go ahead and run this. And we can see here that our list has updated to show those incidents with a priority of critical and high. Now again, if I click on the show hide filter, I can go ahead and I can build out as many filter conditions as I want. And what you can also do using the filter here that is appended at the top of your list is you can also add sort conditions. Now to do that, if I wanted to sort this by, for example, most recent or the ones that were created most recently rather, I can go ahead and click add sort and that's going to add a separate pane here where I can build out my sort conditions. Now, if I click into this field, again, this is going to display a list of fields here that I can sort by. Now I might go ahead and select created. And if I select A to Z and run this, this is going to sort these, you know, by reverse order or by the oldest to the newest. So that is how you can use the show hide filter option that is available on 
all lists in ServiceNow to quickly filter lists to meet your specific criteria. And I'll also draw your attention to the fact that as I applied the second filter here, this breadcrumb trail also updated to show that we're now looking at all incidents where the priority is critical or the priority is high. Now, if you wanna quickly revert to all incidents or you wanna remove a filter, what you can do is you can just go ahead and click on the option or the level in the breadcrumb trail. So if I click on all, this is going to bring me back into my base list with no filters applied. So that's a handy little way for you to quickly remove filters from your list. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can save filters that you create in lists such as the one that you're seeing here on the screen. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've built out a filter here with multiple conditions. Now if I wanted to save this filter so that I could just quickly access this list with the filter applied, what I need to do is step one, build out my filter as I've done here. And then step two is I need to click on the save filter button. Now once I click on this, I'm going to be prompted to give this a name. So I'm going to call this open critical incidents and you can give it whatever name you want. And then the next option is you can actually select whether you want this filter to be visible to just you, uh, to everyone, make it a public filter or to a specific group. Now, if I selected a group, I would be asked to go ahead and search for a specific group in ServiceNow. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and select me and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And so I've saved my filter. Once you've saved a filter on a list, such as the incident list, in order to quickly access it, what you want to do is click on this navigation menu here, and then you wanna click on filters. And this is where you're going to see a list of those saved filters. Now, if I scroll right to the bottom, you can see here open critical incidents. And if I click on this, this is going to bring me back into that list with the filter applied. And in this case, there are no incidents that meet that criteria. So that's why we're not seeing any records here. So that is how to save a filter. All right, now the last thing that we're going to look at is how to quickly filter list without having to get into the filter builder. Now, in order to quickly filter a list, all you need to do is right click on the specific field or column that you want to apply a filter on. So for example, let's say I wanted to filter this list to quickly show me only those incidents where the priority is set to critical. What I can do is I can just find a record here where the priority is critical and I can right click on it and I can either select show matching if I just want to see all incidents with priority one critical or I can click filter out to exclude all records where the priority is set to one. Now I'll go ahead and click show matching. And you can see here that the list is quickly filtered to show me only those incidents with a priority one critical. And if I wanted to, for example, um, filter out all incidents where the state is closed, I can right click on closed and I can say filter out and that's going to quickly remove all records where the state is closed. And again, if you look up at the breadcrumb trail, you can see here that this list has been filtered to show only those records where the priority is set to one and the state is not equal to close. So that is just a really quick way that you can apply filters to a list to help you find those records that you're looking for. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can filter a list in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.